Donald Trump gave an interview moments ago on Newsmax. The host of the show was his former top campaign advisor, Corey Lewandowski. And there was this moment where Lewandowski was pushing the lie that President Biden's jacked up on drugs. And he asked Donald Trump about it, spoon feeds Donald Trump the answer. And it appears Donald Trump either has a cognitive lapse or passes out or fails to mute the phone. Watch what happens on this interview. Play the clip. You made some recommendations that maybe Joe Biden has to have a drug test uh, before this debate. You've, you've made some great remarks. And let me just remind our viewers kind of what you've said and you know what your take is on it. Oh, sir, we, I, I think you said that Joe might need a shot to stay up for the debate. Uh, I hear that he's practicing standing for 90 minutes is his debate prep. A little different, I think, than what you're used to at some of the rallies you've participated in recently. Well, if I have to practice standing, we have ourselves a big problem. Now, uh, I had heard that, too. He's practicing how to stand or something standing. And in another incoherent moment, not sure if this is the type of cognitive exam that Donald Trump claims to take, he claims that hundreds of thousands of people are dying at the border. Another lie. Here, play this clip. But we lose hundreds of, think of it, hundreds of thousands of people are dying at our border, coming through our border every year because of our border. Yep, I'm sure Donald Trump is ready for this debate. Then on this interview with Lewandowski, Donald Trump explains how he's preparing, and he claims he's preparing for the debate because he's been preparing his entire life, he says. Here, play this clip. And the real question is, what have you been doing to prepare for the debate? I think I've been preparing for it for my whole life, if you want to know the truth. And I'm not sure you can lock yourself into a room for two weeks or one week or two days and really learn what you have to know. And uh, I've been through it. I've been, you know, a popular president. Uh, we had some great elections and some uh, amazing, you know, number of votes. Nobody got more than we got. And, uh, you know, I know the subject now, you know, they may get cute because it's obviously at CNN and I call it fake news for a long time. We'll see how they do it. I think they have a lot at stake to be fair. I think they have to be fair, but we'll see how we do. I think. Have you noticed, though, what the Chiron says on Newsmax there? Take a look at the bottom. Every time Donald Trump goes on Newsmax because they spread his lies and are repeatedly sued, they have to have a Chiron that says Newsmax accepts the 2020 election results as legal and final, something Donald Trump doesn't, which I'm sure he's going to be asked about in the debate now. Donald Trump brags that uh, he says that the way he was funding the wall, he said, was by taking money away from the United States military. Here, play this clip. So, sir, is it you think this is something you do as an executive order on your first day? We've seen the failures of the Biden administration. He's blaming Congress, saying that it's their fault that we continue to have this mass inbound migration on both the northern and southern border. How quickly can you get this problem under control? Immediately, and she could too. All he has to do is say, close the borders. I did it. I had no problem with that. Now, the funding was hard, but I took it out of the military. I said, this is an invasion. So I got the wall built with uh, with funds from the military. I said, literally, this is an invasion of our country, which is what it is. But we lose hundreds of, think of it, hundreds of thousands of people are dying at our border, coming through our border every year because of our border. And this is an invasion into our country. And that's how I got the money. Then Donald Trump claims that the wall was going to be built when he was in office in three weeks, literally three weeks as the snake oil salesman, but it was stopped. If he just had three more weeks, like his infrastructure plan and his healthcare plan, just two more weeks, three more weeks, and it was going to happen, but alas. The deep state stopped him. It's ridiculous here. Play this clip. We were going to add 200 miles. We had areas that we had to close. We needed to leave them open for access for trucks and other things. But we have areas that we had to close that would have been all done and completed in uh, literally three weeks. They decided not to do it. Not only that, very expensive designed wall as per the specs of uh, Border Patrol and ICE. 
then as that interview was coming to a close, just watch how the interview ends. I mean, it's like the most softball interview imaginable. And notice that it seems like Donald Trump just like abruptly hangs up on the uh, during the interview of Corey Lewandowski here. Play this clip. Throughout all the world, you have to be respected. I hate to use the word feared, but that's not so bad either. And once we get it going and once we're in power, we, and we have to be because we're not going to have a country. If we don't win this election, November 5th, if we don't win this election, we won't have a country left, Corey. We're not going to have a country, and you know that better than anybody. We are laughed at. They think we're fools. They can't believe that Biden is the president. And we're going to turn that around. We're going to turn it around very fast. Well, Mr. President, it was such an honor to have you on tonight. I wish you the very best of luck on Thursday. I'll be with you. By the way, just to remind you who Corey Lewandowski is, he was one of Donald Trump's top campaign advisors. Um, Here's an article from Politico. Trump uh, donor Corey Lewandowski made unwanted sexual advances. The longtime Trump aide harassed her at a charity event, a major Republican Party contributor alleges. And then Corey Lewandowski cut a deal with Las Vegas prosecutors after he was charged with misdemeanor battery stemming from allegations of unwanted sexual advances toward a woman during a charity dinner in September 2021. Want me to tell you more about Corey Lewandowski? In March 2016, Trump's campaign manager, Corey Lewandowski, was arrested and charged for grabbing a female reporter's arm. Let me show you what went down. Here's a report from that time period. Play this clip. Trump campaign manager Corey Lewandowski has been charged with simple battery by Florida police who say surveillance video shows Lewandowski grabbing journalist Michelle Fields at a campaign event. Earlier this month, after Fields accused Lewandowski of assaulting her, he responded with a tweet saying, Michelle Fields, you are totally delusional. I never touched you. As a matter of fact, I have never even met you. Lewandowski continued to tweet about Fields, calling her an attention seeker and questioning her journalistic integrity. Fields responded on Twitter with this picture of her bruised arm, writing, I guess these just magically appeared on me. Trump released a statement saying Lewandowski is absolutely innocent of this. Now, if you want to know just how ridiculous the kind of MAGA media is this evening, uh, here, uh, Trump's campaign spokesperson, Caroline Levitt, is on Fox. Um, and here they are uh, talking about how Donald Trump is preparing. And they're saying uh, she's on with the Jesse Water show. The way he's preparing is by engaging in hostile media interviews. Oh, like like the one we just heard. That's a hostile media interview here. Play this clip. What is Donald Trump doing to prepare? President Trump is continuing with his very busy schedule. Over the past week, he has given hours-long speeches to crowds of thousands in three different cities. He's met with policy advisors to talk about the issues that matter to Americans. He's taken questions directly from Americans at a cheesesteak shop in Philly on Saturday afternoon. So he's continuing to engage in hostile media interviews with the press over the next couple of days, like he always does, hosting private meetings, raising money. He's continuing with the campaign. (laughs) And take a look at this here is what Fox has been pushing out all evening. Um, They're talking about how it would be great if all the negative posts on social media influenced how Jake Tapper moderated the debate. As our editor-in-chief, Ron Filipkowski, writes, um, the Trump people had two goals this week, Fox, Trump, right-wing media. One, cry that this was three against one for poor old Donnie because of biased moderators. Two, work the refs to make them shy away from tough questions. Here, watch this clip. No doubt. You know, thinking about Jake Tapper and, and CNN, though, Charlie, today there were, I believe, nearly 250,000 posts talking about Jake Tapper. He's been trending for two days on X mm-hmm. and not in a positive way. People pointing out that he's been so unfair to Trump, pointing out his statements. Do you think that weighs on him at all? Do you think maybe he will come out and, and try to play this straight? Because there is some pressure on him right now. Uh, it would be great if he he was, but I don't I don't think that they care. I think that they get uh, lauded, as you know better than anybody. They get lauded uh, uh, among their peers by uh, being nasty and unfair. Um, and-, and notice this Chiron from Fox. This is all they're pumping. This is from Jesse Waters as well. 
Dems fear a disciplined Trump, as Aaron Rupar writes. I also fear being abducted by aliens, but uh, I'm not leaving sleep over it. I'll show you this this uh, photo right here. This is what Adam Schiff, Congress member Adam Schiff, running for Senate in California, writes. But her emails, you see what you see in that photo right there? That's some new photos that were released in a filing by special counsel Jack Smith today. Yeah, that on the floor is where America's nuclear codes are, where war plans are, where other highly sensitive classified information is that Donald Trump stole from our government. That's how it was being kept right there at Mar-a-Lago. But it seems consistent with the person that we heard on that interview. Thanks for watching. Hit subscribe. Let's get to 3 million subscribers with your support. Chiquito Toy Poodle back there says, thank you. Have a good day. Enough! Send him to the big house, not the White House. Get the new exclusive tees, mugs, and stickers right now at store.midastouch.com. That's store.midastouch.com.